Hello everybody, my name is Henry and welcome to TechLore. I've received countless requests to review Pure VPN and a day has finally arrived. Let's go ahead and review them in the five categories, each one rated by importance for a total score out of five. If they score four stars or higher overall, they are TechLore approved and earn a spot on the Hall of Fame. Let's go ahead and start with security at 40%. Their jurisdiction is outside the 14 eyes based in Hong Kong. Kong. Now, even though Hong Kong isn't in the 14 eyes, there is still a lot of mistrust with Chinese jurisdiction for VPNs, so definitely keep that in mind when you decide to go with Pure VPN. They do log timestamps, they do log bandwidth despite what they say, and their anonymous payment support is awesome. They accept so many cryptocurrencies, which is dope. They do not meet Privacy Tools IO criteria, they do have DNS server leak protection, they have their own first party DNS servers, there is a system wide kill switch, they use AES 256 data encryption and 2048 handshake encryption. I wish they used 4096, but 2048 is still good. In my testing, my IP address did change, it did pass the Heightster DNS leak test, and it passed the extended DNS leak test on dnsleaktest.com. So overall, security on Pure VPN is definitely not their forte. They are based in China, which is not the most trusted jurisdiction. They do keep logs, which is a huge issue. They don't meet Privacy Tools IO criteria. And finally, their handshake encryption isn't the absolute strongest handshake encryption. That's gonna get them a three out of five stars on security, which is average, but definitely nothing bad or great. The next category is speed at 20%. For speed, I ran four speed tests with and without Pure VPN throughout the day, and here are the results. On average, my ping decreased by only one millisecond, which is crazy. However, my download speeds decreased by 19%, which is a pretty significant hit, and the upload speeds decreased by 17% which is another pretty big hit. These speeds are definitely not great and they're definitely not bad. They're very average speeds. It's comparable to ExpressVPN in my testing. So it's gonna score three out of five stars on speed. The next category is settings at 5% and man, PureVPN definitely delivered in this category. Here's some of the settings which I thought were cool to mention. They allow you to retry a connection if it's dropped. You can launch and connect on system startup. You can disconnect the VPN when you exit the program. It will automatically launch a browser once you're connected. There is an amazing protocol selection. There's a casual mode selection. They have great encryption settings. There's IPv6 leak protection, a full system wide kill switch, which is awesome. Awesome. And there's a super cool feature called multi-port, which scans for open ports which are unthrottled and unblocked by your Wi-Fi network or region. Another super cool feature is you can create a VPN hotspot, which I've never seen before. And finally, they have split tunneling. It's just a program exclusion thing, but it's really cool and it's good they have this. So overall, I really love the settings. It's really simple, but they offer a ton of customization. It reminded me a lot of PIA's setting format, but with more settings. That's an easy four and a half out of five stars. The next category is usage at 15%, and this is where I can really start opening up with how I felt about using the program. First, their support team uses fake names and pictures on their website, and that's definitely concerning. I like knowing who I'm talking to when I'm talking to a representative of a company. Some more concerning issues is that they offer a seven day money back policy, but upon reading the fine print, it's only if you don't go over three gigabytes of data or 100 sessions, whichever one comes first, before the seven days expires. Keep in mind, three gigabytes of data on a computer is nothing. You're gonna easily use three gigabytes of data in a week, which is kind of misleading when you're trying to tell people you have a seven day money back guarantee. On a more positive note, a super common complaint I saw online with other reviewers is they were getting DNS leaks using Pure VPN. And I will tell you guys, I tried about 10 different servers, each one in different countries, and I tried each one three times on Heidster, DNS leak test, and perfect privacy just to triple check and I never got a single DNS leak. So you can be sure, at least from my testing, that there are not DNS leaks that happen in Pure VPN. So that myth is TechLore debunked. Also, there were a lot of accusations that their kill switch was a flawed feature and I tried so many things to reproduce the issue and I could not get it to reproduce. So this is definitely 
also TechLore debunked. Back to the normal stuff, they offer over 750 servers in 140 countries. The Windows program was actually pretty dope. I liked it a lot. I just had a lot of hiccups when I was using it, but everything outside of that was a good experience. Their Mac program is identical to Windows, but more polished. Their Linux program, doesn't exist. I don't even know why I'm surprised anymore. The Android app is a slightly simplified and polished version of the Mac program. I was pretty happy with it. And the iPhone app is an even more simplified version of the Android app with less features, but it was still a good app. So usage overall for PureVPN is going to be three and a half out of five stars. The only issues which actually subtracted from their score was the lack of a Linux client, which I always take off one star for on every single VPN review, and the hiccups I was having on the Windows program. There are definitely trust issues, but I'm not going to subtract any more from the score because of that, since that's completely biased and I have to keep my reviews unbiased. The very last category is stability at 20%. I only had minor issues with bugginess and occasional slowdowns. Like I said before, I couldn't get a DNS leak out of them and the kill switch did exactly what it was supposed to do. So they're gonna score four and a half out of five stars on stability because of the very rare and easily fixable hiccups on their Windows client. Before I give you guys the final score, let me address some things that I thought you should know about PureVPN before moving on. They have antivirus and malware support built into the VPN, which is really cool, and they allow up to five simultaneous devices, which is pretty standard. As for who the VPN is geared towards, definitely not the tippity-toppity Mac security users, but it's more of a casual VPN, so if you're a gamer, any, any type of casual user, streaming, torrenting, it seems to hit all areas really well, just not security. On to the final score, PureVPN ended up scoring 3.45, which rounds up to 3.5 out of 5, so sadly it is not TechLore approved. It's a really good service, they got a lot going for them, I just think that they need to work out those kinks, and maybe for a 6 month update you could really see some improvements from PureVPN. That's gonna wrap up the review guys, if you liked this video make sure to give it a big like below and definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see more VPN reviews in the future or any security and cryptocurrency videos as well. As of today, the highest scoring VPN on my channel is NordVPN, so if you want to watch that review, I'll leave it right here and in the description. They are awesome, so definitely make sure to watch that review. Don't forget to follow me on social media at TechLemur, and that's going to finish up the video. That is it, everybody. TechLore is out. Have a freaking lemuricious day.